Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail uh, how to solve a system of linear equations using matrix operations. Uh, and for this example, uh, I've got, I've just chosen uh, three linear equations. Uh, the first one is x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 8. Uh, the second one is minus x1 minus 2x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 1. And the final one, the third one, is 3x1 minus 7x2 plus 4x3 is equal to 10. Uh, and what we'd like to do is we'd like to, using matrix operations, or more importantly, using Gauss-Jordan elimination uh, uh, to reduce a matrix representation of these particular equations uh, into reduced row echelon form, uh, we'd like to be able to find uh, solutions uh, for x1, x2, and x3, uh, such that when we substitute these values into any of these equations, if we substitute them into the first equation, we should get an 8. When we substitute them into the second equation, we should get a 1. And when we substitute them into the third equation, we should get a 10. Okay? So we're looking to solve this system of linear equations. And let's just keep in mind that systems of linear equations uh, don't necessarily have to have a specific solution. There can be one solution, uh, there can be no solution, and there can also can be an infinite number of solutions. Now in this particular case, we do know that when we solve this, that we do get a unique uh, solution set. Uh, so to solve the system, I suppose step one uh, in this particular procedure is to create what's known as the augmented matrix. So the augmented uh, matrix. Uh, and the augmented matrix is just a matrix of the coefficients uh, of each of our linear equations. Okay, so the augmented matrix is going to be, in this particular case, is going to be, well, there's 1x1, so it's 1, there's plus x2, so there's 1x2, there's 2x3s, and there's the constant term 8. And the second uh, linear system, uh, linear equation, there's minus 1x1, so there's a minus 1, there's minus 2x2, so there's a minus 2, there's plus 3x3, so there's a 3, and there's a constant term of 1. In the third equation, there's 3x1, so there's 3, there's minus 7x2, there's 4x3, and there's 10, okay? Uh, so this particular matrix, we usually uh, delimit it, we separate it into two sections. On the left, we have a matrix that represents the coefficients of our unknown, of our unknown values, or the indeterminants. Uh, and on the right-hand side, we have listed down the constant terms that are associated with each one of our linear equations. Okay, so once we've created the augmented matrix, uh, step two uh, is to use what's known as elementary row operations. Okay, so it's to use elementary, elementary row operations, row operations, uh, to reduce the left-hand component or the left-hand matrix in the augmented matrix down to the identity matrix. Okay. So what we'd like to do is, through elementary row, row operations, what we mean by that is by adding multiples of rows to other rows, that we reduce this matrix down to a matrix that has leading ones on the main diagonal, or has ones on the main diagonal, and everywhere else, every other identity is a zero. Okay. Uh, so to do this, so we'd like this matrix here to look like the matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and we have some values, uh, let's say, uh, A, B, and C. So we'd like to reduce this matrix into this particular form. So, uh, what we should try to do is get a 1 in the first entry for the first equation, and we've already got a 1 here, so there's nothing to do here. So the next step is, once you have a leading 1 in the first row, okay, uh, we should proceed to, uh, I suppose, to change our other equations so that the leading entries are zeros. Okay? Now hopefully what we can see here is that if I add on row 1, to row 2, okay, well the 1 plus the minus 1 would give me a 0, and that particular operation, or elementary row operation, would be sufficient to change this minus 1 to a 0. So let's do that. So what I'm going to say is row 2 is going to become row 2 minus, or sorry, plus a row 1. Okay, so the system is going to become it's going to become, well we're operating on row 2, so row 1 remains the same, 1, 1, 2, 8, 
uh, row 3 remains the same, 3, minus 7, 4, 10, okay? Uh, and it's row 2 that's going to get updated. So row 2 is the row 2 values plus the row 1 values, or the row 2 entries plus the corresponding row 1 entries. So it's minus 1 plus 1 gives me a 0, it's minus 2 plus 1 gives me a minus 1, it's 3 plus 2 gives me a 5, and it's 1 plus 8 gives me a 9. Okay, so what we can see now is that we have a leading 1, and we have a leading zero in the second in the second row. Okay, so now we need to proceed to change the tree uh, to a zero. And once again, an elementary row operation that would work for this is if I took three times row one away from row three, that would result in a zero here. So let's do that operation. So we have a uh, row three becomes row three minus three times row one. Okay, so once again, the only row that's going to change here, get updated, is row three. So row 1 and 2 remain the same, so we have, it's a 1, a 1, a 2, an 8, a 0, a minus 1, a 5, and a 9. And row 3 becomes, okay, well row 3 becomes, it's row 3 entries minus 3 times row 1 entries. So it's 3 minus 3 times 1 gives me a 0. It's minus 7 minus 3 times 1 gives me a minus 10. It's 4 minus 3 times 2 gives me a minus 2. And it's 10 minus 3 times 8. Well, minus 3 times 8 is minus 24. Plus the 10 gives me minus 14. Okay. Uh, so we're nearly there. Uh, the next operation that we should do is we have a 1 in leading our first uh, row, we have a zero leading our second row, we have a zero leading our third row. So what we need to do is we need to move on to the to the, to the next column, uh, where it would be nice to get a one as a second entry in the second, in the second row. Now we have a minus one here already, uh, we could change that to a one by multiplying across this row uh, by minus one. So let's do that. So I'm going to say row three uh, becomes minus row 3, or minus 1, well, sorry, row 2 becomes minus row 2, okay? In which case, we have, it's 1, 1, 2, 8, it's 0, minus 10, minus 2, minus 14, okay? And so row 2 that's being updated, minus 1 times row 2, well, it's 0 times minus 1 gives me 0, it's minus 1 times minus 1 gives me 1, it's 5 times minus 1 gives me minus 5, and it's 9 times minus 1 gives me minus, minus 9. Okay, so now at this stage we've got two ones on the main diagonal, okay? We should proceed with to, uh, to, make the, to make the entry below the second one, okay? To make the entry below the second one, we should proceed to try to make that a 0, okay? So I'd like to make this minus 10 a 0. And we could do that by adding on 10 times row 2 to row 3. So let's write that down. So I'm going to say row 3 becomes row 3, okay, plus 10 times row 2, okay? Uh, this operation, the result, the only update is going to be on row, is going to be on row 3. So row 1 and 2 remain the same. So we have 1, 1, 2, 8. Row 2 remains the same. 0, 1, minus 5, minus 9. And row 3 is updated. So row 3 becomes row 3 entries plus 10 times row 2 entries. So the first row 3 entry is 0, plus 10 times 0 gives us a 0. The next one is minus 10 plus 10 times 1 is minus 10 plus 10 gives us a 0. And we have minus 2 plus 10 times minus 5, while 10 times minus 5 is minus 50, plus the minus 2 gives us minus 52. Uh, and then we have it's minus it's minus 14 plus 10 times minus 9. 10 times minus 9 is minus 90. Plus the minus 14 gives us minus 104. So we have minus 104. Okay. Uh, and hopefully we can see now at this stage is that we're nearly there. Okay. We should proceed now onto the third row to make the 1. Okay. Or to make the third entry on the third row a 1. And we can see that there's a relationship between the minus 52 and the minus 104. Uh, there's a factor here of minus 52. So we could divide across here by minus 52. So we end up with row 3 uh, becomes row 3 divided by minus 52. And the result is 1, 1, 2, 8, 0, 1, 
minus 5 minus 9. And when I multiply, or when I divide row 3 by minus 52, we have 0 divided by 